Wait, oh! Hey, folks! Sure. Hello, 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 that Ben guy's face is creeping me out. Math zone. <clears throat> what is thirty-six plus four? Thirty-six. Forty. <laughs> the face. That adds up. Look at that face, the face creeps me out. Math zone. Again? Really? Can you solve this math equation? Math equation. <laughs> <laughs> two plus two equals what why? Not a chance. Um <laughs> Go ahead, use your device as input method of choice to pick a category. It's easy! <laughs> it's lip him. I don't like that. Puzzling puzzlers. I don't like that. <laughs> Let's see what the question. An escape to the city of San Francisco! See its iconic sloped streets, gaze upon the Golden Gate Bridge, <laughs> and peruse the abandoned halls of Alcatraz in this grandiose sightseeing adventure. Two plane tickets only, so you can't take your whole family with you, but at least you'll have in-flight food and movies. Those little baggies of pretzels are delicious. Hmm. Well, I that seems like a good play. paycheck every week is a nightmare. Well, uh, it's not hard to get, per se. Even if it's not enough to live on, hint, hint. But it's like I'm outright afraid of money or something. I get seriously spooked whenever I see the number next to the little dollar sign. What would you call being afraid of wealth? I'm just gonna guess. Rungamundo. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Plutophobia. <laughs> this certification proving you're legally able to operate a forklift. Oh. With this, all your dreams will come true. As long as they're forklift related. Hmm. You're this episode's grand champion. That's a wrap for this episode. Tune in next time for more of the same. Yeah. <laughs> this episode of Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Vaughn Bootleg Brands. For those of you who only want to experience the finest knockoffs. Let's go.
What the? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be chaos. <laughs> all the audience members leaving. I'm sorry, I'm lagging that credible, so I have to make the 30 FPS video. Why? Yeah. Hmm? Where was? Oh, there was a speed bump? What? We're doing pretty well. My so cursor the is green lit up brand new episode of Shovel Way Brain Game. <laughs> Don't adjust your TV set. That's just how he looks. Here's the dancing banana. <laughs> <laughs> Taste test. Uh, let's go. Oh, <laughs> I love that jingle. It's a six-month supply of Dancing Banana Ice Cream Bars from Shovelware Foods. This oh. delicious fruity frozen treat features two chewy gumball eyes that we absolutely guarantee aren't placed anywhere close to how they are in the picture on the back. <laughs> Reference to the real-life products. Mm-mm-mm. I love cake. And I love cookies. They share a lot of ingredients, but there's one particular ingredient that's considered the main ingredient in both. What is it? That's flour. Uh. Boy, wait, what? Nope. It is flour. <laughs> Oh, is it me? Monumental landmarks. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. Oh. You know who isn't bored but is a board? Here's oh, no. our special guest question. It's Bordy the Smart Board. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Ready for your question? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Depicted is a famous landmark. What is its name? <gasps> oh, I hope I get it right. Oh. 
<laughs> Taste test. <laughs> <laughs> I it? love pizza. Oh, I cannot get enough of it. I'm like some <laughs> kind of unspecified turtle soup. Well, they gave me a question if I wanted to about go my to favorite the food. Pizza and experience it in its true, authentic fashion. Where would I go? It's Italy. Can't be anywhere else but Italy. <laughs> I lost this for my summer. Um. <laughs> oh, they <wa> walked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You just walked up on set. No, they invited you. <laughs> Puzzling puzzlers. Oh. I wonder what we got. You're just giving it a shot. <laughs> a cowboy rides into town on Friday. He stays in town for three days and then leaves on Friday. Wait, what? How did he do it? Love it. Wait, oh! Hey, folks! Sure. Um, is our host a wanted criminal? <laughs> Science rules. It's lit, fam. You never played. You never watched Bill Nye the Science Guy as a kid. Bah humbug! I can't stand <gasps> Christmas and the wider, oh. more inclusive holiday season. In what order will the? By the way, um, can we talk about how one of our teammates Dickens is just not visible the whole time? Come to visit me tonight. Past, present, and future. That's kind of obvious. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Never watched. No <laughs> Ew. Why can't go anywhere like to test time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like characters whose shoes point up in fiction. Which type of character is often depicted with pointy toed shoes in various pieces of media? Elves. El Elvis Presley. Correct! <laughs> Bags of the world. Bags of the world. <laughs> Test my knowledge. I'm an American. We know you love him. Here's Bordy the Smart Board. Hi, folks. Here's your question. Take a look at this flag. Which country does it belong to?
I know what that is. That's right. Antarctica. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Just pick one. Puzzling puzzlers. Oh. The dancing banana's brother has three sons. Each of his sons has a sister. How many children does the dancing banana's brother have? You know, I was just Um What? You put in the effort and you run I mean those are really difficult hobbies that I My boy So if anybody wants to trade up, I'm I'm around. Oh now I'm hungry. What's the word? <laughs> Sorry, but have you seen what they're doing with AI these days? Oh, they're using it to replicate speech, trying to make it sound like real people. Do you realize what this means? I'm going to be out of a job. I can't keep up with the output a machine voice can do. <laughs> they can just keep cranking takes out. But me doing voice work takes it out of me. I've got to have periods of rest. Like, can you imagine being made to say line after line after line without time to stop and rest your voice? Those robot voices don't need that. They can just keep on going and going and going. Oh, you can't see it, but I'm waving my hands around wildly to make my points as I describe this nightmare scenario. What word best describes what I'm doing? Let's go. Eh? You beat me by one point? Unacceptable! Math zone! <laughs> Oh, time tables. Oh. <laughs> this very expensive grill from Dinkman. <laughs> Pull up a chair and host the cookout of the century. You'll be serving up a whole lot of smiles by utilizing the latest in charcoal technology. And maybe the neighbors will I'm just watching all, listening all Doctor Who themes while I'm watching this video. And their two dogs and their running hot water. Look, I'm sorry, Doug, okay? I can't move my car out of the way to let the street sweeper down our block. The battery is dead, and I make game show announcer money, which isn't a lot, so it's going to stay that way, okay? Uh, what? Um. What is four times seven? I know it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Absolutely correct. Twenty-eight. Very <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's lit, fam. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm trying to remember the name of an old book I had to write a report on during my days back at game show announcer school. I remember it was something about an angry fruit. A fruit full of wrath, even. Ah, do you know which fruit I'm talking about? The material clearly didn't stick with oh, me. Oh, wow. Mm. It's grapes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay. A football chiseled out of stone. Fun for cave persons of all. <laughs> Toss around the old mammoth skin with the whole cave family. This ancient sports ball was discovered recently by the archaeological team we chased away so that we could build our new studio on their dig site. Wait, it's what? even official size. Now a champion. Congratulations! You're the winner of Shovelware's Brain Game! <laughs> That's all for this round, but we'll be right back with another episode in just a few minutes! Shovelware's Brain Game is brought to you by Crazy Air. When you need to travel, fly crazy! Thank you guys so much for watching. Hello, Pokemon out. <laughs>